we decided, I mean, we've transformed the power sector in the past five, six years. Uh, we decided that we'll have universal access. So we connected about 28.9 million homes in just about 19 months. The International Energy Agency called it the fastest, the largest expansion of access anywhere in the world in the history of power. That had consequences, I'll tell you about that. <laughs> that had consequences, I'll tell you about it. That had challenges, not consequences, it had challenges, it threw up challenges. We connected the whole country into one grid, running on one frequency, we added almost about 172,000 circuit kilometers of transmission lines. Uh, one, uh, I mean, partly for connecting the whole country into one grid, and partly, of course, because of the huge quantity of renewables we've added and we are adding. So now, we, it's one of the largest unified, in fact, perhaps the largest unified grid in the world running on one frequency with one controller, one national controller. What, did this, uh, what this did was unify our country into one market. So you can generate power in Tamil Nadu and sell it in Jammu and Kashmir or Natural Pradesh or vice versa. So that's the other thing which we did. The third thing which we did, which in fact actu uh, we started off uh, as soon as we started uh, our quest for universal access, was convert our country from a power deficit to a power surplus country. We added almost about 180 gigawatts, 180 gigawatts of capacity from 2015 onwards till date. Now that's one of the largest capacity additions anywhere in the world. Today my capacity is 404 gigawatts. And uh, now uh, that proved to be handy, and I'll tell you why. But not only that, we strengthened the distribution system by adding almost about 2,900 uh, distribution, uh, sub-distribution centers. I mean, you call it substations, we call it. Uh, we're upgrading about 3,900 uh, substations and uh, added about 750,000 circuit kilometers of LT lines, 250,000 circuit kilometers of HT lines, 164,000 circuit kilometers of, you know, the agriculture feeders, separate feeders for agriculture, etc. Uh, almost 750,000 transformers. It was also, you know, one of the uh, largest injections of uh, investment in a sector. The net result was that today the availability of power in rural India, not urban India, mind you, urban India is almost 24, in rural India it's now uh, gone up to about 22 and a half, 23 hours on an average throughout the country. And our country includes, uh, you know, the areas which are mountainous, areas which have deserts, etc. So, and we brought this up from about availability of power for about 12 hours, uh, which used to be there when our government came to office in 2014, 2015. So we brought about a huge, huge uh, sort of transformation in the sector. 